Welcome to Ucanic. Today we have 2014 Chevy Cruze 1.4 liter Ecotec motor in this vehicle. So we've got our, um, our, our vehicle here and we're going to go over the process to be able to replace your serpentine belt. This is one way to replace your serpentine belt and tensioner. Uh, a lot of times you would replace this tensioner at the same time as the serpentine belt. That spring mechanism in there really is like kind of a one-time use. There's a little uh, spring piece there. This little uh, piece in there. Once you pull this pin, a lot of times this will break over time. And so it's a one-time use. We need to remove the air box and get that out of our way. Whether you separate it right here with a 7 millimeter, or you could even do it here. We're down here on top of the turbo and we have it unhooked at the top of the turbo. We have one electrical connector right here that goes to our mass airflow sensor. We undo that. We're going to set that aside and then we just pull up on this air box and pull it out. It's held on by some little rubber grommets and then once we get that up and out of the way we now have the access that we need. Now you will need to support the bottom of the engine whether you use a jack or whether you use one of those crossbars that hook to the hook here. Uh, to hold the engine up when you remove these bolts. So uh, we have three uh, 15 millimeter bolts here and two 15 millimeter bolts here and that looks that might be one size smaller but we'll see. Right. So we remove these we have it supported with a jack under there there we go Upon installation, these bolts here, you tighten to 46 foot-pounds on these uh, three bolts that go right here. These bolts here are at 50. All right, so that's all the bolts for this motor mount to be able to be removed, whether you're replacing the motor mount or just to need to separate it to get your uh, uh, serpentine belt off. So um, if you were just doing the serpentine belt, you don't have to take off the whole unit because you can be able to slide your belt down around there, but it's really not that hard. And then we just pop this whole thing out. And now we have a lot of easier access to be able to get um, to our serpentine belt to be able to replace that. And we can do a, a good inspection with our um, motor mount here to uh, see whether we need to replace the, the rubber grommets in there. Now, if you needed to take this portion off, that's another three bolts that goes around there to remove that portion of the motor mount, which they are still a size 15. That's generally, all you really need to do to gain access to be able to do all the replacement, but just to give a better visual of what you're doing when you're working on it down there, I've gone ahead and removed the three bolts here and then we just need to work it out of here. And so now we have that whole motor mount out and we can see the way our serpentine belt runs and the tensioner unit on this vehicle. So here is a belt diagram for the 1.4 liter Ecotech motor. We have our alternator, water pump, AC, crankshaft, and tensioner right there. And that's the way the belt's going to go around. Ribs, 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 ribs. And then this is the smooth side on the tensioner. So we just need to loosen the tension, get the belt off. Then we'll re uh, remove the tensioner, replace it with the new one, and be able to put our new belt on. All right. So using an E14, we're able to get onto this bolt here. Press it. Oh, that loosened it. We go clockwise and that depresses the, the tensioner for us to be able to get our belt off and out of the way. Now, that's a full release of the tensioner, and like I said, a lot of times that little spring clip piece breaks. If you were replacing just the belt for whatever reason, which is actually not too bad looking, but if you replace the belt for whatever reason, just the belt, then you would just be able to put that on right now. But we're going to go ahead and replace our tensioner at the same time. So we need our E14 up top here to undo this. Let's 
you want to be a little careful because that um, our uh, tensioner can explode. So that's the top bolt. I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove that bottom bolt, which that is a E12 uh, to be able to get that bottom one undone. And like I said, if you're removing the motor mount, we can do everything from up top here. All right, there we go. Removal of the old tensioner and being able to put our, our new one back on. So, to put our new tensioner back on, we go back in the reverse order and be able to start that bolt. And then go ahead and get this one. situated down over here it just kind of sits there got a little tab that holds how far it goes in from the back side there we go so all right that one tight then we have our um, E14 up here. There's an E12 down there. And type. Now that one is torqued to like 41. Um, so we'll come back and torque that. But now all we need to do is run our new uh, belt around there as we install our new serpentine belt. And remembering our routing over, around. there and then we do need to release the tension there okay so we go right get it in there all under the ribs and once you're there then you can pull this pin out and when you're if you're done and that would be so we pull our pin out, release, and that is our tensioner and serpentine belt replaced on this uh, vehicle of a 1.4 liter uh, Ecotec motor and a Chevy Cruze. And then you would need to we put our motor mount back on and then tighten everything back down and torque it all just back. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.